big world out there we can reach and we can. Parents world will get there if we know how we can. Ah. Ayan, we can now do our project here. We have to pass it tomorrow, so we better start now. Uh, do not worry, Ingo. It's just a project. Uh, an easy one at that. Piece of cake. Besides, you can do it without us. Oh, sa gali mo yan. Kaya kaya mo gawin yan. Kaya kaya mo tapusin yung proyekto magisa. You think so? Hmm, binabola niyo ako. <laughs> no, we're sure of it. You're the smartest in the class. I am. Yes, you are. Everyone knows that. I am, huh? No, I am not. Of course you are. Why would we lie to you? So, since you're smart and you can do the project alone, we don't want to get in the way. So we have to go. See you tomorrow morning. Mm. Bye -bye. Mm. See you. I am smart. Siguro nga. <laughs> Sabi sa'yo eh, madali lang kutuin niya si Ingo. Ayos! Oh, ayun, hindi ka na. And ito, I am really smart. What can I do? I am smart and also handsome. Hmm? Hello, Hi. Ingo! Hi! Hey, Karen, ko pala. <laughs> what are you doing? Who are you talking to? I am talking to me. You mean I am talking to myself? Yes, that is what I said. I am talking to me. No, you should say I am talking to myself. Myself? Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, it is a reflexive pronoun. <coughs> Do you remember what a pronoun is? Of course. Ako pa. It is used to take the place of nouns in sentences. For example, mm -hmm. the farmer is smart. Mm -hmm. He is also hardworking. He is the pronoun that takes the place of the noun farmer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Now, <clears throat> a reflexive pronoun like myself is used when the doer or subject and receiver or direct object of the action is the same person or thing. For example... For example... <clears throat> The carabao is drinking from the river. The carabao saw the carabao in the water. Mm, Ingo, hmm? there is something wrong with that sentence. Wrong? Yes. What is wrong? Uh, there is nothing wrong. Well, <clears throat> the carabao saw the carabao in the river. Which carabao did the carabao see in the water? Was it another carabao or... The carabao? What else? Itself. It saw itself in the water. Itself? Like myself, itself is a reflexive pronoun. Ah, oh, wait, 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 wait. You are right, Karen. Mm. You are right. Always. Hmm. The carabao is drinking in the river. Mm -hmm. The carabao saw the carabao in the water. Nakakalito? It is really confusing. Mm -hmm. Huh. When you used the reflexive pronoun itself, mm -hmm. it became clear that there is only one carabao. Correct. Now, a reflexive pronoun is formed by adding self when singular and selves when plural to a personal pronoun like my or are. Mm -hmm. For example, my plus self to form myself and are plus selves to form ourselves. So, I am talking to me should be I am talking to myself. Hmm. Ulit yung mga <laughs> The carabao is drinking from the river. The carabao... No, wrong. Very good. <clears throat> the reflexive pronoun itself completes the thought and makes the sentence less confusing. Reflexive pronoun. I will not forget. Oh, Ingo, you are smart. Smart, Ingo. <laughs> okay, now. <clears throat> now, would you like to tell me why you were talking to yourself? I was telling myself I am smart. Well, uh, okay. Uh, you are. Thank you, Karen. I, you know what? I have a project that I have to pass tomorrow. Oh. Mm -hmm. I am illustrating a scene 
in a story mm -hmm. we read today. And teacher Estela will collect all our projects because our class will put it together to make a big book. Wow. What do you think? Well, that is a well thought of project. Mm -hmm. It is an individual as well as a class project. Mm -hmm. And I am going to do it all by myself. Hello, I am Tong Tipaklong. My favorite pastime, aside from doing nothing, is hopping. I like doing things by myself. Myself! That is a reflexive pronoun. Reflexive pronouns take the place of nouns. I bet no other grasshopper knows that. You see, the others are just ordinary grasshoppers. Look at them. They just talk among themselves about usual things like the weather. Mmm, this can come in handy. It can make my house stronger. Hey, Tong, looks like you need a hand with that. The three of us can easily carry that ourselves. What do you think of me? Weak? I am strong. My grandfather used to carry branches of wood by himself. I come from a strong family. My mother herself told me. No, I can do this myself. I don't need help. Wow, we're not saying you are weak. We just want to help you because that looks too heavy for you to carry alone. I already told you, I can do it myself. If you say so, we will leave you alone by yourself now. Good luck. Hello, Wingo. What is the matter? It is my groupmates. They left me to do all the work by myself. Hirap, hirap pala eh. It is almost sunset and I am not yet finished with it. Nakainis. You mean, this project is group work? Oh, very smart, Ingo. Why did you not tell me? I thought the teacher gave each one of you a project to do. No, but my groupmates told me I could do it by myself. Ingo, if this is group work, where are your groupmates? You should not be doing this by yourself. They told me I could do it by myself because I am very smart. Very smart, Ingo. Group work is group work. That is why it is assigned to a group of people so that they can work on it together. It is called teamwork. I do not think I can finish it. No, well, you took the job for yourself. And you must do it. It will take some time, but eventually you will get it done. You can do it. Yeah. Yes! Right. I did it! I finished the project all by myself. Yes, congratulations! But next time... Next time, there is a group project I will not do all the work by myself. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Reflexive pronoun. <laughs> yes. Instead, work with your groupmates. Mm -hmm. That way, you can finish the task faster. Besides, doing a project together is easier and more fun. Yes, Karen. I will remember that. Uh, <laughs> never mind. I do not really need it anyway. My house is fine by itself. Hey, Egan! What are you doing? Simple. We are working together. Working together, working together, a great way to get things done. Working together, working together makes learning lots of fun. Tasks become easier, knowledge is shared. We help out each other and we finish faster. Working together, working together makes learning lots of fun. Hey, Egan is right. Working together does make a job easier and more fun. If only I worked with the grasshoppers carrying the piece of wood, maybe it's not too late to ask. I can help them with what they are doing and then they can help me carry the wood. Now, that's teamwork. Working together. We will surely get a high grade for it. <laughs> and all thanks to Ingo. Good morning! Good morning! Good morning, Karen! Good morning, Ingo! Good morning, ma'am! Good morning, Good morning to you! Is that your group project? Uh, uh, yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, we really worked hard for it. 
We even sacrificed our playtime yesterday afternoon just to finish it. Really? Yes, ma'am. Yes. All afternoon? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ang galing-galing yes, ma namin, di ba? What do you think our grade will be? Oh, your grade. Your grade is uh, 74. Huh? 74? Uh, that's a failing grade. Uh, this is all your fault, Ingo. What do you mean? Ingo did all the work? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma yes, ma'am. So, Ingo did it all by himself. I knew all along that Ingo worked alone on this project. I saw the two of you playing by the river on my way home. The real grade is 91. I only said it was 74 at first so that the truth will come out. Ingo, you did a fine work, and I admire you for the effort you put into it. But this is supposed to be a group work. You're not supposed to do it by yourself. There is a reason why I assigned it to be so. Working as a team teaches you the value of cooperation. Do not let others take advantage of you, okay? Yes, ma'am. And you too? You get a failing grade. Uh, ma'am, we're very sorry. Is there any way we could make up for it? I do not know. What do you think, Ingo? Ma'am, even if they are like that, Maybe you could give them another chance. Okay. But this is the last for the two of you. Yes, See me later yes. this afternoon. Mm -hmm. I will give you a new assignment. Yes. Let us go. It is time for school. Yes. Bye, Karen. Goodbye. Uh, Ingo, we are very sorry for making you do all the work. I hope you're not mad at us. Makibigan pa rin naman tayo, di ba? No, I am not mad, and yes, we are still friends. Mm, Ingo, if you're not really mad at us, then you would help us out with our new project? Sigina, please. Uh, 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 uh. Remember what our teacher said? That you should do it by yourself. Ay, mali, mali yata. That you should do it by yourselves. And that is a reflexive pronoun. But Ingo, Mom will never know it unless you tell her. Besides, this project is much harder and we cannot do it without your help. Come on, Ingo. Only someone as smart as you can help us. Well, that is true, you know. I am really handsome and uh, hardworking and uh, really smart. But... Uh, you cannot make a fool out of me. Never again. But you still have to do that project all by yourselves. So, go! That was a really nice reflexive pronoun.